Hello friends, welcome to my 30 range YouTube channel. Now I have Samsung Galaxy A06 mobile. In this video, let's learn A06 mobile top 10 tips and tricks. If you are a new visitor on my YouTube channel, press the subscribe button and join with us. You can watch more tips and tricks on this A06 mobile on my channel. Ok, let's start. Now let's learn how to get full screen display. You can see your recent key, home key and back key in bottom area. We can hide these buttons and get full screen display. Let's learn how to do this. Go to mobile settings. Scroll down and go to display option. Scroll down it little bit. After click on this navigation bar option. In here you can see these two methods. Now this mobile enable buttons method and another one is swap gestures method. In this buttons method we can change our buttons position. To change this buttons position click on this more options. Now I am using first method. If you want to change this back button and recent key you can enable this second method. Now I will show you how to hide these buttons. To hide these buttons you can enable this second method sub gestures method now you can see our recent key home key and back key going to hidden now i will tell you how to use this gesture method if you want to open recent applications you can sub up from the bottom of the e screen and pause it like this after you can open recent applications if you want to go to home screen you can sub up from the bottom of the e screen like this now if you want to go to back you can sap left or right from the edge of the screen. In this method you can hide your mobile recent key, home key and back key and you can get full screen display. Let's learn how to capture long screenshot. Normally we can capture a screenshot by pressing volume down key and power key on same time. Now let's learn how to capture long screenshot. Now I open my mobile settings because in here I can capture a long screenshot. Now I press my volume down key and power key. Immediately you want to press this arrow icon on screenshot toolbar. You can see our screenshot is continually capturing. Let's check our captured screenshot. This is our long screenshot. You can see a detailed preview. Now I will show you second method to capture a screenshot. We can capture a screenshot using our notification bar. Sub your mobile notification bar. In here you can see take screenshot button. Now I cannot see it. If we cannot see the button we can add this button to our status bar. Let's see how to do this. Click on this pencil icon on top area. In here you can see two edit options top and full. Click on full method edit option. Now you can see take screenshot button in here. You can tap on it. After it's move to our status bar buttons area. Now let's check our status bar buttons. You can see the take screenshot button is appear on my status bar. Now when you press this take screenshot button, you can capture easily screenshot like this. Let's learn how to use spelled screen apps option. Now I open some applications. After you can press recent key button. Now you can select applications you want to use as split screen view. After you want to press this ball icon on this app top area and click on this split screen view option. After our first split application in here, now you can select your second application you want to use. In this method you can use split screen mode, you can move apps like this. You can change the sizes and you can change the app position. In this method you can use split screen mode. Now I will show you another method to activate this split screen mode. Go to mobile settings. Scroll down and go to advanced features option. Click on this multi window option. In here you can enable this 
except for split screen option you can see a preview to change split screen view step up with two fingers from the bottom of the screen in portrait view or from the side of the screen in landscape view you can see a preview in here in this method we can enable split screen view i don't like this method i like our first method it is very easy to enable split screen view let's learn how to enable double tap to wake up lock screen and turn off lock screen go to mobile settings scroll down and go to advanced features option in here click on motions and gestures option you can enable this double tap to turn on screen and turn off screen options now i come to my mobile home screen and double tap on my home screen you can see our lock screen going to turn off when i double tap again i can turn on my lock screen like this i think this feature is very helpful to you Let's learn how to enable internet speed meter. In this A06 mobile not received default pre-installed internet speed meter. So we want to download third party application for this. Go to your play store and search here internet speed meter. After you can view this application internet speed meter light. You can install this application. After you can open this application and allow permission to this. Now you can close this application. Now let's see how it works. When I set my notification panel, you can see my usage. I am using Wi-Fi 42 megabytes now. You can see the signal 100%. In this method, you can enable internet speed meter on your A06 mobile. Let's learn how to hide applications on home screen. In this method, you can hide any application on your mobile home screen. Let's try to hide this calculator. To hide applications, go to mobile settings. Scroll down and go to home screen option. In here, you can see hide apps on home and apps screen option. Click on it. In here, you can select any applications you want to hide. Now I select calculator and click on done button. Let's see now. You can see the calculator is hidden. We cannot find this application. To unhide this application, again go to hide depths option and you can remove this application. After you can see this application on your mobile home screen like this. Let's learn how to enable assistant menu icon. If we enable this assistant menu, we can easily do our works. If you like this assistant menu icon, you can enable it like this. To enable this feature, go to mobile settings. Scroll down and go to accessibility option. In here, click on this interaction and dexterity option. In here, you can enable this assistant menu icon like this. After you can see this ball icon. In here, lot of features have, you can open recent applications, you can go to home screen, you can take screenshots or you can turn off your lock screen. If you like this feature, you can enable this assistant menu. You can easily do your works using this icon. Now let's learn how to record our A06 mobile screen. This A06 mobile not received pre-installed screen recorder. So we want to download third party applications for record our mobile screen. I recommend to X recorder application. Go to mobile play store and search here X recorder. After you can install this X recorder application. After opening this application, you can go to this application settings. In here, you can set up your audio settings. Now I select internal and microphone both. 
and you can change your screen recording resolution and lot of features have on this application you can customize it as you like now when you press this record button you can easily record your mobile screen like this now my mobile screen is recording this is our recorded video now let's learn how to remove animations on your applications now i open some applications you can see a small animation preview we can remove this animation go to your mobile settings scroll down and go to accessibility option in here go to vision enhancement option you can enable this reduce animation option now i exit on this application you can see no any animation preview now i open some applications and exit on this you can see no animation preview the applications are opening very fastly in this method you can remove your applications animations Let's learn how to use dual messenger apps. If you want to create two WhatsApp accounts, two Facebook accounts or other two messenger accounts, we can use this feature. Now, this mobile has one Facebook application. I can create two Facebook applications. Let's learn how to do this. Go to mobile settings, scroll down and go to advanced features option. In here, click on this dual messenger option. after you can see here your dual messenger supported all applications now in this mobile has facebook only if you want to create two applications enable this feature after you can create two facebook accounts if you want to install two whatsapp accounts follow the same method now let's see our two facebook accounts this is my one application and you can see this is my second facebook application In this method you can make dual applications. Okay, in this video I had talked about Samsung Galaxy A06 mobile top 10 tips and tricks. If you like this video, please press the like button. Don't forget to share with your friends and subscribe our channel. I will make more tips and tricks on this Samsung Galaxy A06 mobile. So join with our channel. Let's meet on our next video. Have a nice day. Goodbye.